Down in the red zone. Just have that feeling though at some point to hit Brazil for a big play. Now he's in the slot. In the <laughs> Scoop and score. Scoop up by Kerry Neal down to the one yard line. Tom Zivakowski with the sack, the strip, McCarry Neal the recovery, and it's Notre Dame ball. And Ben Olsen is limping off the field. Limping badly on his left knee. Zivakowski comes off the corner untouched. Olsen faces him as a left-hander, but never really felt him. He's got to tuck that ball. This terrific defensive play by Zibikowski. Very alert here to scoop and try to score. All those Bruins we talked to yesterday said it was one of the most bitter defeats they've ever experienced. Khalil Bell on first down for about three. And they they have the with football. The Officials say he was down. But Crum came up with the football and all the white jerseys started hopping around. To it. Momentum is certainly wearing a white jersey right now. Take another look at it. Here comes Bell. Bell's got the ball tucked away. Goes into the line of scrimmage. See if the ball's ripped out. Now Bell did fumble twice last week against Oregon State. They're going to look at it. The previous play is being challenged by Notre Dame for a fumble. I thought it was out. This is a coach's challenge by Charlie Weiss. Gerard McGinn, the Big East referee for tonight's game, will go over and talk to Pac-10 official Bill Richardson, our replay official, and check this out. See if Crum doesn't rip the ball out. All right, still in there. Now it's loose. Ball's out. That ball's out. That's a fumble. That's Notre Dame football. Absolutely. Crum ripped it out. The ball was out before Bell ever touched the ground. That's Notre Dame football. Here's another look. Ball's tucked away. Here comes Crum. They meet in the hole. Now just watch Bell, watch the football. And football's watch, out right there. And watch the knees. Absolutely, Tim. All over it. Even a better angle as Bell tor turns toward us. There's 40. Crum rips it. Ball's out right there. And Bell's still up. Smart challenge by Charlie Weiss, but it always puzzles me if every play in college football is reviewed. Why do we need a coach to challenge? Well, when we come back, we'll find out if the challenge is successful for Charlie Weiss and the Irish. Down before the ball was ripped loose by Maurice Crum. Gerard McGinn talking upstairs again to Bill Richardson of the Pac-10. Taking their good sweet time. We're told that the uh, whistle was well after. Yeah, this ball is out, Dan. As he will turn to us here, you watch Crum 40 will rip this ball out. All right, now the ball is out right there. And Bell is still up, and Crum has the football. Now, this is a situation where Charlie Weiss listened to his players because Bell came over to the sideline, and Weiss says, Hey, was it out? After review, there was a reversal on the field, there was a fumble. Notre Dame recovered the ball. The ball will be placed at the 31-yard line, first and 10. Clock operator, please put 6.13 on the clock. Thank Absolutely. you. Or as a coach, I think, as big as this one. Yeah, that's a program maker for them. Third and seven for the Bruins, still backed up. Ethel Thompson from his end zone. Intercepted at the 20. It's Bruton to the 10. Bruton down to the six-yard line. Flag is down at the 20 yard line, but that may be after the pick. Yeah, that Bethel Thompson threw a bad ball. I mean, there was nobody open. He tried to force it over the top where the safety was there and the nickelback was there. He had nobody open. That's that's inexperience right there. You're backed up like that. You cannot afford a turnover. You want to give your punter room to get it out and get your defense back on the field. That one is on that kid right there, McLeod Bethel Thompson. A guy who really has very little experience. Bruton with his second interception of the year will check out the flag to see if this interception will stand. During the return, face mask on UCLA, number 86. The penalty will be enforced from the end of the run, half the distance to the goal. There it First is. Down. Right there, Logan Paulson, number 86, had the hand as he flew by. Oh my, don't tip that thing. Bethel Thompson's going to go down. 
Fumble picked up. Notre Dame's got it. Crum at the 10. Crum at the 5. Touchdown. Fighting Irish. And Crum picked it up and stumbled and bumbled his way into the end zone. Crum with the first hit. There's Ryan. Second fumble recovery of the evening for Maurice Crum Jr. And it appears we're going to get a review on this play. Bethel Thompson never looks off the receiver. He looks that way. He looks that way. He's still looking that way. He's wasting too much time, feels the pressure, tries to pull it out, and that ball is way out. I don't know what they're looking at. That's a fumble. This is an official review to see if, in fact, Bethel Thompson's knee was down before the ball came out. Or if the ball's going forward. You know, it may have been going forward. From that angle, you look at his arm, Here it is. He completed pass. I don't know. That may go down as uh, one of those Tom Brady tuck rules against the Raiders in the playoffs. He was obviously pulling the ball down, but the officials called it an incomplete pass. Well, look at the arms going forward when the ball comes out. It's out as soon as he starts bringing the arm forward. Well, I don't know. It looked like he was trying to tuck it in and hold it to his chest. Yeah. This one could go either way. I know it. He never looked off the receivers. He would. Cowan was even with Paulson and Wooden and on his way to a touchdown. They'll move it back. Bethel Thompson searching over the middle. He's got intercepted. Maurice Crum. What a night Maurice Crum is having as he goes down at the 48-yard line. That ball had to be tipped. Or it slipped out of his hand one or the other. This is unbelievable. First interception of the year for Maurice Crum. Third takeaway for number 40 tonight. That ball was hit, or his arm was hit. Watch right here. Trevor Laws. Unstoppable. And Trevor Laws just clawing and scratching his way, fighting his man. One timeout left for Notre Dame, two for UCLA. Bethel Thompson. It's going to go down. He lets it go into the end zone, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Flag down. That's going to be face mask on Dominique Johnson. Terrell Lambert with the pick. And that picture tells you all you need to know. It's been unbelievable tonight how UCLA has just fallen apart. It's very similar to what happened to them at Utah. Personal foul. Face mask on UCLA. Number 15. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic. First down. That's now 10 penalties against the Bruins and almost 100 Timeout. yards. 